everyone, it's Ahmad here and today I would like to show you Germany's Istanbul. Yes, you heard it right. It's Germany's Istanbul. Why I call it Istanbul is because of the reason here are a lot of Turks, Arabs and many other nationalities living here together and it is highly concentrated by those people. And scarcely you will find some German person here. They live here but very very less. So this part is actually, if you, if you come in this part, you will actually feel like it is not a part of Germany. Yeah, you can see it. You see it from your own eyes. So yeah, here the best thing of this area is a lot of these shops, these Arab shops. For example, this shop is, some, uh, is run by some Palestinian guy, I guess. And hello. And here you see this culture. Hello. So here you can see literally you won't find this culture anymore any anywhere in other parts of Germany, like mostly concentrated by many other nationalities like this. So for example, there in front of me you see a mosque. And in this small area, like within a radius of like four kilometers, there are like more than five mosques. And also I showed you already one one shop like this and now here you see another shop and now it has started raining so I need also a shelter so for example not many people would find such a shop in Germany because uh, normally you need to go to Rewe, Lidl or Aldi but here you can see this kind of shops not only this but there are many other restaurants and also, sometimes, sometimes the it is so loud. Sometimes there are some fights going on. Uh, but overall, it's like a mix of all the situations. I just give you some more deeper insight in this area. Normally, I don't. I'm not so much frightened on the roads because like everyone cares for the pedestrians but in this area you need to be highly considerate about this thing because not many people are taking care of pedestrians anymore. So right now I'm in front of the area of Sultan Markt which is like the most famous shop in this area. Here it is, this way. Here you can find everything, every Arabic thing or like Turkish baklava, other things. If I'm wrong, so just pardon me. Here is another shop I showed you already. You can see here. Open air restaurants, not like big restaurants, but still they're good, good enough coffee shop and on the other side there is yeah so you see here is this baklava and donor and all that stuff here again one baklava I never saw in Germany uh, mobile shop so much but here I can see like some mobile shops are there on the other part of this road is again these shops are again these shops and actually if you are not very if you don't have so much problem with noise and uh, such issues so it's a good area to live in I lived here for seven months sometimes I was quite happy because the accessibility of edibles is very good but on the other hand in the night you could not you cannot sleep even so like in the night even if i call police actually i did not because i know police cannot do because for example like two days ago i lost my bicycle and 
I went to police and they said, where was this bicycle? And I said, it was in garden. Like, garden is the actual name of this Istanbul. So I said, it was in garden. And they said, okay, you already put your bicycle in garden. It means you already threw it away. So if you have thrown it away now, <laughs> we cannot find it anymore. Because, uh, of course, I did not have the frame number for the bicycle. So now here again, you see, there is an, uh, again one shop. And in these shops, you can find the halal chicken. Here you see one donut shop. Here again, here again you see one donut shop. Coffee. And here you see some mobile shops, which normally I've never seen. Uh, I literally saw it maybe once in Hamburg, but now I'm watching it in Kiel. So this was the suspense. I wanted to tell you like this part which I'm calling Istanbul is located in Kiel, Kiel city of Germany and this part is actually called Garden and specifically this part within Garden is called Vinetteplatz and this is the most populous place normally every time in summer or winter, whenever, even right now it's raining, you can see there are a lot of people sitting. And again here you see one vegetable shop, Vineta Markt. So you can find a lot of stuff here. Everything is halal and you see it's good packed. It's a lot noisy. You see, there is another shop again in that area. And at the end of this road, there is railway. So, this area is actually, I would say, <laughs> I don't want to give any wrong comments or bad comments about this area, but it is good if you are not very uh, touchy about noise and also about stealing things, like the things from you to be stolen. There you see, there is another restaurant again. I hope you like the video.